Over the last decade and a half, Dabo Sweeney has done an incredible job at Clemson. He helped turn an average program into a championship program in the 2010s. And before Dabo Sweeney took over as the head coach in 2008, he knew he had a lot of work to do because Clemson was a solid program, but they weren't anywhere near being a national title contender. And Clemson also hadn't won double-digit games since 1990 before Dabo Sweeney became the head coach. It only took a couple of years until Dabo Sweeney made Clemson their own little dynasty. Because in 2011, Dabo Sweeney led Clemson to their first double-digit win season in 20 years. And it was only the beginning for the Dabo Sweeney era at Clemson. Clemson would go on to win 10-plus games every single year from 2011 to 2022. And during that time period, Clemson had won multiple national championships and also multiple ACC championships. And a lot of the credit you have to give to Dabo Sweeney because he was an excellent high school recruiter and he did recruit quarterbacks like Trevor Lawrence and Deshaun Watson who are both now playing in the NFL. And Dabo Sweeney taught incredible discipline to every Clemson football team he coached. But over the last couple of years, I think that we have seen the slow and sad downfall of this Clemson team and the pieces are starting to crumble. And Dabo Sweeney can blame it on a lot of things. But the truth may be that Clemson football has fallen off because Dabo Sweeney is not using the transfer portal. And it is because of his lack of adaptability. Dabo Sweeney is so stuck in his own ways he doesn't know that he is destroying Clemson. And I know people can make all kinds of excuses. But there are only four teams in college football that have signed zero players from the transfer portal this year. And those four teams are Air Force, Navy, Army, and of course the Clemson Tigers. And let me tell you Clemson has absolutely no excuse for not using the transfer portal. The transfer portal is needed in today's college football, and ever since NIL and the transfer portal came along, Clemson has been slowly declining. In a 9-win season, may be a solid season for some teams, but it was Clemson's worst season in over a decade. And I do not think Clemson is going to get much better from here on out, and that is just my honest opinion. Dabo Sweeney refuses to use the transfer portal, and he thinks college football is a joke. And that is exactly why he uses jokes and excuses as a way to escape using the transfer portal. And Dabo Sweeney doesn't take any accountability. We do not see other coaches like Kirby Smart, Dan Lanning, and Steve Sarkeesian making excuses and complaining all the time. Every coach picks up at least a couple of players from the transfer portal and they adapt. But Clemson limits their abilities because they do not use the transfer portal. And instead of having a national championship ceiling, they only have an ACC championship ceiling. And an ACC championship is looking less likely for Clemson heading forward in my opinion because Clemson isn't going to get any better if Dabo Sweeney refuses to adapt. And other teams in the ACC are on the rise. A team like Miami has a big advantage because not only have they used high school recruiting at a high level, but they have also picked up some of the best players from last year out of the transfer portal. Damian Martinez from Oregon State is possibly a top 10 college football running back. And Cam Ward from Washington State is possibly a top 10 college football quarterback. So Miami adding those two top players from the transfer portal makes Miami a scary team heading into next season. And while Clemson is hanging on trying not to fall off, Miami may just become a new top dog in the ACC. And Florida State may have already taken that throne from Clemson after beating them last season and then going on and winning the ACC championship. Clemson is no longer the clear favorite in the ACC. And they might even fall out of that top five conversation very soon. Because Virginia Tech, Louisville, and NC State are all looking very good heading into next season. And the playing field is getting much more difficult for Dabo Sweeney and the Clemson Tigers in the ACC. Clemson is kind of just staying in the same place. And I would not be surprised if they took an even bigger step down in 2024. Because the more the other teams adapt, the more difficult it is going to get for Clemson. And I do not think Clemson has what it takes anymore to win the ACC. I think the obvious more talented teams in the ACC now are Florida State and Miami. They both recruit pretty well, but they also use their extra resources necessary. So maybe Dabo Sweeney should take some advice and start learning how to use the transfer portal. Because let me tell you, it really can't be that difficult if every other team is doing it. That offense for Clemson needs to take a big leap in 2024 if they want to prove me wrong. And if they do prove me wrong, I will make sure I give Clemson their credit where it is due. But this is just my opinion and I do not expect great things from Clemson in 2024. They could have upgraded their offense through the transfer portal but unfortunately they didn't. So I have my questions about the offense. And they really lack explosiveness on the offensive side at wide receiver last season. And I also have my questions about what Cade Klubnik is going to be at quarterback for this team. Because Cade Klubnik may have been a 5 star quarterback as a high school recruit. 
but he is not living up to that potential yet. And that proves that high school recruiting is not everything. And that is exactly why the transfer portal exists. But if the offense wants to take a step up next season, we will need to see some breakout stars on that Clemson offense. Freshman wideouts Bryant Wesco Jr. and TJ Moore. They both have a lot of potential to become a top target for Clemson football in 2024. TJ Moore is a five-star receiver and is expected to do great things right away. Running back Phil Moffa needs to be a guy for Clemson in the backfield. He was already really good last season, but Clemson also has to replace the production of Will Shipley, who is now an NFL running back. I have no doubt that Phil Moffa should be a huge guy to have back because he ran for just under 1,000 yards last season, and he is going to be that number one running back for Clemson. But Clemson also has some young sophomore wide receivers, Tyler Brown and Antonio Williams. There's a lot of younger talent on this offense, and the offense does return 79% of production. So I would say there is potential there. But a lot of things have to go right. And Cade Klubnik is really going to determine a lot at the quarterback position. He needs to cut back on mistakes and be more consistent. I think we saw great things from Cade Klubnik in that bowl game last year against Kentucky. He went 30 for 41 with 264 passing yards. And he also had a pretty good completion percentage of 73.2. And if we see more of that from Cade Klubnik consistently, then maybe this is a team that can win the ACC championship next season. But Cade Klubnik needs help from his wide receivers. And Cade Klubnik has to improve. But when I look at the offenses in the ACC, I honestly don't think Clemson has a great offense. The thing that should give them a big advantage is their defense. We all know that. They have had a consistently great defense for a while, and that's one place where Dabo Sweeney has not failed. They had one of the top defenses in the ACC last season, and I expect Clemson to have a top five ACC defense in 2024 at the very least. Five-star freshman linebacker Sammy Brown is going to be a huge player for this team, and he played very well in the Tigers spring game. The secondary for Clemson is very talented, and it might be the best part on their defense. And overall, I really expect the defense to be very good. This should be a solid team. But I have my questions, and I don't think I see them winning the ACC in 2024. Dabo Sweeney doesn't use the transfer portal, and it's really hurting this Clemson team as a whole. They are forced to back themselves in a corner because of it, and they only rely on high school recruiting when they desperately need more weapons at wide receiver. And in general, they could use a lot more talent on this team. Dabo Sweeney needs to stop making excuses and he needs to address his mistakes. And honestly, if Dabo Sweeney doesn't use the transfer portal, this might just be the end of the road for Dabo Sweeney as the Clemson Tigers head coach. And ultimately, I can't take away from the great things that he has done at Clemson. He led them to multiple national championships, but that's in the past. In the present and the future does not look the brightest for the Clemson Tigers. And Dabo Sweeney might just retire soon because maybe he doesn't belong in today's college football. And I know I'm kind of just ranting at this point, but I'm just giving my thoughts. And wouldn't it be crazy to see Dabo Sweeney take one player from the transfer portal? I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe Clemson wins the ACC and makes the playoffs with only high school recruits or high school transfers if Dabo Sweeney wants to call them that. It's all fun and games until Clemson takes another step down. Because honestly, how many jokes and excuses can Dabo Sweeney make until he finally uses the transfer portal or just ends up retiring? Obviously, I think it's stupid that Dabo Sweeney refuses to use the transfer portal, and I honestly don't believe in this Clemson team anymore. But you guys let me know what you think about Clemson heading into 2024 down in the comments below. But that's going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider following my socials down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.